Welcome back to Fannable Kitchen. I'm Lisa and today's recipe out of the Feeding Hannibal cookbook, of course, is gonna be the protein scramble. You can find this on page 16 and it's the last recipe that we see in season one, episode one. And it looks like it's gonna be pretty straightforward. First, I wanna point out this lovely apron. It was a gift from two very dear friends of mine who recently went on vacation and brought this back for me. Now I've shared with them the excitement for this project. I've shared with them my excitement for this channel and they were very kind and thought, hey, let's support her with a brand new apron. So thank you very much, Rob and Coco. I love it. Love you guys. You're amazing. Now, as I've mentioned in past videos, usually the recipe has a three digit number next to the title. That tells you what season and what episode in that season the recipe comes from. It's strange that the protein scramble doesn't have that number in the cookbook, but you definitely see this recipe on screen around the 32 minute mark when Hannibal brings Will breakfast in his motel room. Now you all being true fans of the show, you know that this episode is packed with iconic scenes and memorable lines. And there's so much to talk about between the last recipe, the lungs and loin in wine sauce, to this recipe and all the way to the end of the episode. But first, let's go over the ingredients that you're gonna need for this recipe. You'll need two honey garlic farm style breakfast sausages, six eggs, heavy cream, butter or oil for sauteing, salt and pepper to taste, and overall this will make two very generous servings. So not called out in the ingredients list, but further down in the explanation of steps, it actually gives you a couple more options on how you serve, present your protein scramble. One option would be to take thinly sliced baguettes that are lightly toasted and serve that along with a peach almond jam. The second option that it gives you is to take a croissant, crack it open, and nestle the protein scramble inside of the croissant and serve along with fresh fruit. I'm gonna take a semi-screen accurate approach. Like I said, if you go to that 32 minute mark and Hannibal's taking the lid off the Tupperware and serves it, you actually see slices of tomato and what looks to be Italian parsley. So that's what I'm gonna go with today, although I, don't, I won't turn down a, a fresh buttery croissant, so that's what I mean by semi-screen accurate. I'm gonna make it look like it did in the motel room and I'm also gonna grab that croissant and have it with it together and I think it's gonna be amazing. Before we move on, I wanna ask you, have you cooked the spinach stuffed veal with Cumberland sauce that we see Jack and Hannibal eating their first meal together in season one, episode two? If you have, leave me a comment. You know, was it difficult? Did it taste good? What did you like about the recipe? That's the next one that I'm gonna cook on this show and I would love to hear your thoughts. Send me a picture on Instagram. I wanna see how it turned out. I have all of my ingredients ready, but just before we get started, I gotta tell you, when I read the recipe, it's a short one, something made me nerd out. There was a lot of time spent going into detail on how to cook the eggs. There was so much detail, uh, I decided to do a word count in Microsoft just to see what percentage was dedicated to actually talking about eggs. Spoiler alert, it's 32%. 32% of the recipe, that's almost a third of the text for the recipe, was used just to talk about how to fluff the eggs. I love it. This is a woman that makes sure she knows that when she's got a good thing, she tells you how to make it right. <laughs> now, of course, it seems like with every recipe, there's something I have a hard time getting. And this protein scramble was no exception. You would think what's so hard about sausage and eggs. However, all I could find, the closest thing I could find was garlic sausage. I couldn't find honey garlic. I couldn't find honey. Um, when I did a search online to see, well, maybe I can order it. Maybe I can just have it shipped to my house. I don't care if I have to buy a bunch of it. I was trying to be as true to the recipe as possible. But every time I found some kind of website that would ship it to me, they were all out of Canada. So I don't know, maybe this flavor combination is just typical to Canada and it's not a big thing here in the US. Either way, I may do and I grabbed the garlic sausage and my plan is to cook it in honey in the skillet and call it a win. And step one is going to be to boil some water. 
while the water's boiling, I'm gonna get the sausages out of the package and prep some of the other ingredients while we're at it. So while the water's boiling, let's consider the importance of the first meal that Will and Hannibal are sharing together. I mean, literally, Hannibal has gone out of his way to make Will a home-cooked meal and bring it to him in his motel room. Now, I would say he's definitely doing this so that he can bond with Will, especially after that misstep he had the first time meeting him in Jack's office. Will is short with Hannibal. He barely says thank you. Uh, he tells him he doesn't find him that interesting. You know, we really don't have a lot of examples of Will having nice interactions with other people. We do get that scene where he finds the dog running down the road and he's concerned. He tries to bring the dog home. He's successful in that. And that's really kind of our first look at him actually having an emotional side, a human side, a side that's capable of connection. But we don't really have a lot of good examples of him behaving well with other people. And that's certainly evident in the scene where he's sharing his first meal with Hannibal. And then we have this really kind of nice breakthrough moment where it seems like Will's let his guard down, he smiles, he laughs, it appears to be genuine when he hears how Hannibal describes how Jack thinks of Will. And Hannibal says, I think Jack thinks of you as the finest china only reserved for special guests, a fragile teacup, right? That's one of the early mentions of, of the shattered teacup, the fragile teacup. And we see that motif returning throughout the entire series, really. It's that meal and sharing of food and creating that sense of community that that's how Hannibal works his way into society. That's how he maintains his person suit. That's how he maintains his disguise to the rest of the world. And we see him doing that here with Will. Time to throw the sausages in the boiling water. And we're gonna put it for four to eight minutes, which means I'm gonna choose six, because that's what I do. While the sausages are cooking in the boiling water, I'm gonna go ahead and get our eggs and heavy cream together. I couldn't find regular heavy cream, I found heavy whipping cream. Really the only difference is the whipping cream is a little bit lighter in the fat content, but it should work well for our purposes today. The sausages are just about done boiling. Yep, there they go. Uh, I'm gonna drain them and set them aside to cool, and then we're gonna return to our eggs and heavy cream. We're gonna set the eggs aside and bring the sausages back out. These have had time to cool just a little bit. We're gonna cut them into smaller pieces and throw them into a heavy saute pan where we're gonna cook them with a little bit of butter and we're gonna cook them with a little bit of honey so that I can try to achieve that honey garlic flavor that I was so looking forward to and unable to find in the grocery stores. With the sausages now cut into smaller pieces after having a chance to cool, we're gonna take all of this over to the stove. That was a disaster. I cleaned the stove, I promise you. And this is where I'm gonna add the honey. Ooh, that smells good already. They're browning up nicely. I think this is I think this is gonna work actually. I see you looking. I see you getting ready to pounce. Knock it off. Fantastic. We're gonna call these done and browned. Scoop them up into a little dish on the side so that we can make room to get to the last item we're gonna cook here, which is the eggs. Bring on the saucepan. In goes the butter. Let's make sure we waste not here. Butter is fully melted. We're gonna really drop down the heat and then add in the eggs. So it says the trick here is to gently shake the pan and give the uncooked egg a chance to get underneath the cooked egg and kind of keep working it up that way. We are definitely gonna be here for a little bit, but that's okay. I'm here for it, I'm committed, down for the fanibal cause to bring you the hopefully the fluffiest eggs known to us fanables.
suppose I shouldn't jostle it as much. It was calling for a, uh, a, a very gentle shaking. We're so close to being done here. We're gonna cut a few pieces of tomato so it looks a little bit more screen accurate like I mentioned. Of course, a couple of pieces of our Italian parsley. With the eggs mostly cooked and the sausage put back in, it's gonna to continue to cook just a little bit more in its own heat. We're gonna take this over back to the main stage and plate it for you. Something else I've been meaning to keep track of are all the different names that Will gets called. In this episode alone, we get two really great ones. He gets called a fragile teacup and fine china. Third, if you count the mongoose comment that Hannibal makes. So as I go through the episodes and as I go through the recipes, I'm gonna try to keep that list up to date. If I miss one, drop me a comment and let me know. I wanna see how that list grows through the progression of the entire show. All right, that's it. The eggs are done. I have the croissant on the plate. I'm gonna break it open, add in the eggs and the sausage, add the tomato and the Italian parsley for a little bit of garnish and we'll have our final product. There's no way to like gently break this without smashing it too much. That's, a, that's about as gently as I can nestle that in there. Definitely needs more pieces of sausage. Add in our tomato. And some Italian parsley for color. and then see what we can do to clean up some of this edge here. And there you have it. One Feeding Hannibal Protein Scramble, the last recipe seen in season one, episode one on screen. Uh, I think we have to try this. That's, that's the next step, right? It's a requirement. Let's dig in. I wanna make sure I get a little bit of the egg and a little piece of the sausage too. Let's see how this tastes. Mm. <laughs> that is delicious. I think the honey in the skillet with the garlic sausage came out as good as it could be. And I would be pretty proud to serve this to friends. So. If you haven't gotten a chance to cook this recipe, make sure you do and come back and leave me a comment and I wanna know how your recipe turned out. I know people out there have already made some of these recipes. Send me a photo, uh, you know, maybe some point in the future, I'd like to be able to show photos that, of recipes that other fanables have tried. Well, that was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for tuning in. I had a blast doing this recipe for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to hit the like button and I'll see you next time on Fanable Kitchen. This is the unglorious part that you don't see. This is like the 20th time. <laughs>